Hello everyone, Charmancini here, and today we're talking about aliases within the Bash shell. Um, an alias is a great way of shortening commands uh, to one single word. Uh, this is great for systems I'm in, it could be uh, even used at home. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll run it through on how to create an alias and uh, a couple of uh, benefits on what we can do with this nifty uh, command here. So. Uh, let's say we have a command ping google.ca okay now ping google.ca uh, we'll have to type in obviously the ping in google.ca now let's say you wanted to shorten this say we wanted the command to be PG uh, just for quick ping Google um, what we can do is issue the alias command and then to create an alias is just alias space the word that we want to shorten the command with so let's say PG and then we will attach an equal sign in a single quotation and then after that we'll be typing in the command that we want to run associated with this alias and it ended off with a single quotation and we'll hit enter to commit that change so for now you hit PG and there we go uh, it will automatically ping google.ca um, you can also do let's say an alias space router okay equals and then have it SSH into your router for you and then it will ask for your password but uh, you've shown the whole SSH portion of uh, of what you want to do uh, now uh, this can be used for apps so let's say I have Firefox okay I want to run Firefox from the terminal normally you just type in Firefox you can do alias space F equals Firefox now if I just type in F in the terminal by itself there you go. So the alias command could be uh, used for uh, uh, many different things. Uh, it can even be used for. Uh, it could even be used to shorten extended commands. These are very simple commands I'm using. But uh, let's say you need to grep from a file and then you want to output it, and as a systems I'm in, you have to do that every day. Let's say you're grepping from a log file. You know um, this you can just do like G L F grep log file and then just hit enter and it'll pull up the extended command you want to run so uh, this is like I said a really nifty tool and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was informative for you if you have any questions comments please leave them in the video below in the video comments below and uh, you can also visit my website www.seanmancini.com and uh, subscribe. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye.